Hello students, in today's class we are going to learn how to measure angles with the help of a protractor. Now a protractor is an instrument you will you can find it easily in your geometry box and this is what a protractor looks like. It is in the shape of the English alphabet D. Now in the protractor if you look at it carefully we can see that the measurements start from 0 at one end and if we follow the measurements it will end at 180 at the other end. But beside 180, we can see there's another 0 at the other end as well. And similarly, this 0 ends at 180 at the other end. Apart from that, we have a line here at the bottom that is called as the baseline. And we have a center point that's right in the middle of the protractor. Now, we are going to use this to measure various angles. Now, all we need to do is we need to ensure two things that the vertex of the angle coincides with the zero point that's the middle point over here and the base of the angle coincides with this baseline that we have just seen. So, we are going to use a protractor to now measure the three angles that we have over here. So, here's a protractor and now we'll learn how to measure this angle in bit A. Now, for in order to measure this, the first thing we need to do is fix the vertex with the middle point. This here is the middle point. So, here's how I'm making the middle point coincide with the vertex and then adjusting the base so that the line coincides with the base. Now that we have done both the things that the coinciding of the point we have ensured and also of the line, we'll now go ahead and measure it. And when we measure it, we must remember always to start from with the zero mark. So uh, we follow the zero mark and then move ahead 0, 10, 20, 30 and the reading ends here right here at 90. So since the protractor shows 90 where the line segment ends over here, the measure of this angle is equal to 90 degrees. Now we do not want to write degrees every time, so we write it in short as 90 and degree stands for this small circle on the top. Now what is degrees? Degrees is nothing but a unit in which we measure an angle. Now, exactly in the same way, let's now measure another angle that I have over here for this. Now, for this, this is where we have the vertex, which we need to ensure that it coincides with the middle point over here. So, here I'm placing the protractor and the middle point coincides with the vertex and the baseline coincides with this base of the protractor. Now, because I want to measure this angle, we'll start from the base and follow the zero mark and then the zero mark goes as high as this and we're going to find out what is this point, the reading at this point in the protractor. At this point, the protractor reads 135. So, the measure of this angle is equal to 135 degrees. Now, let's move ahead to this third bit here, bit C, and measure in the exactly same manner. So, placing the protractor so that the vertex coincides with the middle point and then adjusting the baseline so that the baseline is exactly touching the, coinciding the base of the angle. And then we'll follow the zero mark. So, following the zero mark, this is where it ends. So, this point on the protractor reads 115. So, 115. So, we write 115 degrees. Thus, we can use a protractor to measure the various angles in this way. Explore more about the topics you love with Topper. Subscribe now and keep learning.